Hello, let's today let's learn how to draw the electronic structure of atoms. Firstly, we're gonna do we're gonna draw one for the fluorine atom, and let's look at our periodic table. The fluorine is in the seventh group and it's a non-metal. And I've already I've already written it out here. So the fluorine atom has a proton number of 9, right? Which is equals to the number of electrons. So which means that it has 9 electrons. And let's look at um, the maximum number of electrons that each electron shell is able to hold. The, the first electron shell will always be able to hold a maximum of 2. While the second is always able to to hold a maximum of 8. And the third electron shell, which only applies to the first 20 from hydrogen to calcium, it's only able to hold a maximum of 8 electrons. So for fluorine, the first electron shell, we're going to put in 2. I'm going to write an F here, which is its, uh, which is its nucleus. And I'm going to draw a circle, which is its first electron shell. I'm going to put in 2. I'm going to use cross for the electrons of non-metals. And then I'm going to draw another bigger circle, which is its second electron shell. I'm going to put in 7 because... 9 minus 2 equals to 7, and we don't need to use all 8 spaces in the second electron shell. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So, this is how you draw the electronic structure of a fluorine atom. Next, we're going to look at how to draw the electronic structure of a magnesium atom. For the magnesium atom, it has the proton a proton number of 12 so which means that it has 12 electrons for the first electron shell we're going to put in a mag 2 electrons and then for the second electron shell we can put in 8 since we have 12 and 12 minus 2 equals to 10. You can only hold 8, so we'll put in 8. And then we have a remainder of 2, which we will put in the third electron shell. So, altogether, we have 12 electrons. So, for the first electron shell, I'm going to put 2. And I'm going to use dots instead of crosses for the metal so that we are able to differentiate metals and non-metals. So for the second, we're going to use up all eight spaces in the second electron shell. Two. And then, here we have 10 already, so the last two will put in the third electron shell. So that altogether is 12. So this is the electronic structure of a magnesium atom. Thank you so much.